Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. I'm doing pretty good myself and we're going to jump back into it today and take a look at a couple more random mini GTs that have been sitting around that uh, need to be reviewed. So we're looking at some older stuff. These have been out for quite some time. I mean, this one came out months ago, but this is the Subaru Impreza WRC 98 number 22, 1999 Rally Tour de Course. Very nice. 564. On the back right here, you can see you've got Subaru licensing, even though they don't have like a sticker or anything. TSM authenticity sticker. There is your UPC right here. This is left-hand drive. And then we're also going to take a look at this. This one was requested, so we are going to do this one. BMW M4 CSL in frozen Brooklyn gray metallic. Very nice. Do think this is probably one of my favorite street version M4s that they've done. Of course, I love the GT3 ones, but this is going to be number 641. BMW licensing on the back right there, TSM sticker, and your UPC. This one's also going to be left-hand drive. So let's get... Whew, camera almost went for a ride. Let's go ahead and get these cracked open. New setup is um, a lot different, and so that I'm, I'm sitting a lot closer to the camera than I was before. And so every once in a while, I end up knocking the camera a little bit. I think I've done it in like the past... I think I've done it several times since I've uh, gotten this new desk, but anyways, that's not important. Just try not to do it again. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the with the Subaru. I've had these both sitting around for a while. I like to. I usually like to pair up when I do a video. I like to pair cars up in groups of two, unless it's like a special release. Then I'll just do a single car. But for the regular stuff, I like to group them up in pairs. But there wasn't really anything coming out that these two paired well with. And so I decided that we're just gonna go ahead and do them together. I know it's kind of a random combo. You got a German car and you got a Japanese car. You got like a, a German street sports car and then you've got a Japanese rally car. So it's kind of, uh, kind of random, but we'll just, we'll go ahead and do it. But anyways, the Subaru right here, very nice livery on this one. I do think it looks very nice. You see you've got the, Kind of like a dark gold six spoke wheels on this one. That looks really nice. It is like a metallic paint, but it does look like it has some imperfections in the paint. Like you can see, like it's got these little, um, it almost looks like dirt ca caught under the paint. So like right here, you've got like a little flake of something. And then there's some down here as well. The, the back wheel looks quite a bit better. Let's see how these ones look. Yeah, that one has... A little bit of like flaking and stuff going on at the bottom and then this one looks all right as well so i don't know what's up with the paint or if these the wheel these those two wheels just didn't get cleaned off very well before they were painted or i don't know maybe like some dust stuck to it or something while it was in the painting process it's kind of weird but the color of the wheels and the wheels themselves do look good i think these particular wheels look nice on this type of car um, you've got some nice rally tread on the wheels since this is like a rally car so some nice off-road dirt tread wheels do look very nice tire tread looks good on the side right here you've got v rally number 22 um, on the back window you've got arai freeman and i think that is a japanese flag and a i can't make out that one british flag no not british flag not exactly sure, but you have the STI badge right under that. Um, really nice, like pink, white, and black livery. So the base is going to be like just a gloss white, nothing crazy. Then you've got this real nice pink color kind of tied in into the uh, black striping as well. So it looks very nice. It's more of like a very, it's more of a clean livery, but it is, uh, it is nice. And uh, yeah, on the roof right here, you've got the V Rally 22 box again. You've got like a little... Um, you've got like a little air scoop on the, on the hood as well. It's kind of interesting on the windshield banner. It is pink. You have STI on both sides of the larger Subaru right in the center. You can see this car does have a nice white roll cage running throughout the car. It's pretty nice. The interior looks uh, decently detailed as well on the front end right here. Very nice looking headlights. You've got your Subaru badge right there. I don't know if that's supposed to be blue or white, but that's uh, looking a little bit more white to me. You can see you've got a license plate up here right in the front grill. Um, you actually have an endless logo, and uh, which is kind of funny because uh, 
the uh, video before this, we actually looked at the uh, Inno 64 Endless R34, and I actually didn't know this was sponsored by Endless. It's got a big Endless logo on the back right there too, so that's kind of funny. But you've got some nice air intakes, air scoops on the hood right here. You can actually see in these little air scoops, you can actually see some black venting underneath there. It's not just painted black, so that is really nice. This larger one back a little bit farther is just painted black in there, but it's nice to see just a little bit of detail like that underneath these vents but uh yeah it looks very good you've got like your orange blinkers on either side sti badges um you've got like a little pink line or red line actually under the endless right there um just a very very nice looking car i like rally and especially like these like 22b subarus this is a, this is a 22b right i'm pretty sure it is or is the is the 22b a w a wrx or did the wrx not even come out at this time. I'm not sure. I don't know a whole lot about my, my Subarus, but I know that, uh, I know that I like this car, right? But yeah, really cool. Nice front end going around to the side, pretty much going to be the same thing. Pretty simple. You've still got the same printing on the back window right there. And, um, the rear window, you do have another windshield banner, STI, STI, Subaru, nice rear wing on this one. It is just white on top. And then on the sides, you do have a little bit more of like this, uh, pink and black pattern which looks pretty good and then the rear very nice looking acrylic tail lights with the big endless badge right in the center back here um it looks like there's a couple little like locks for the like back um hatch or whatever license plate in yellow you've got pirelli badges on either side endless badges right there on the um, side of the rear bumper as well on both sides and then you also have a little exhaust tip coming out You can see a little muffler right there. And then the bottom is pretty plain not too much going on But yeah, this is a very nice car um, Just kind of like a little random throw in I guess but if any of you guys were have been waiting to see this car Then there you go. I do think it looks nice and also I forgot to mention on the hood right here You do have the like the V rally sticker that they would put on there, too So let's go cool. along with like the big Subaru lettering so very nice 564, very nice Subaru. I hope they do more Subarus, but anyways, let's jump into the M4 because that's the one that I have been excited about. I've been really curious to see this color in person, and I do say it looks very nice. It is a very subtle metallic, but it's a, it's a really cool, like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's like very it's like a very metal looking paint like metallic like silver specks all in it it's very it's like a matte i don't know i don't even know how to describe it it's like matte metallic it's very cool does look uh does look really nice and you do see that you have a very nice carbon fiber hood with some red striping going up the roof and then you also have these two big black stripes on the front and then they are all outlined in red so that looks very nice and then the front kidney grills are also outlined in red which i think looks awesome very nice front headlights you've got your bmw badge right in the center right there um just a very nice looking front end it's very aggressive um, on the sides right here, you've got like black down here on your um, running boards, and then you've got some red pinstriping as well. You can see you've got like a fuel filler back here. It is a two-door car. It's a very, it's a very long two-door car, but the body lines that go up the doors and stuff do look very nice. They're very sharp. You can see a little bit of venting right here behind the front wheel. Um, rubber mirrors, of course. <clears throat> Don't even think I need to say that anymore. Um, defroster lines on the back window are decent. They're not super thick. I feel like they could be a little thinner, but they're not bad. You've got BMW M4 on the license plate, and then you also have your BMW badge, and then the M4 CSL badging right there as well. Nice taillights. They are red acrylic plastic inserted. And then you've got some more like brake brake light accenting down here on the sides quad black exhaust on this one with like a little bit of a rear diffuser nice uh nice body lines where the hatch would open up and you've also got like two little um two little like fins or body lines right there as well they kind of match up with how the ones on the roof are and then on the roof you do have this little um, raised bump which i would imagine is like the antenna but the carbon fiber on the roof along with like the nice matte paint and the red striping it looks really good the wheels do look very nice as well they're kind of uh they're more like a lace wheel but they are gloss black and they um i think they we got some sort of logo in the center i'm not exactly sure it might 
It's probably supposed to be the BMW logo, but I'm not really picking it up on camera. Or it might just be a, a silver dot in the center. But they do look very nice. Decent tread on the wheels, nothing too crazy. The bottom is nicely detailed. You've got some like some exhaust stuff. So that is pretty nice. Yeah, I think this is a I think this is a really nice car. Um, whoever asked to see this, I hope that it exceeded your expectations or at least met them because it is very, um, it's very nice. You've got like a little, like almost like a ducktail spoiler on the back. Very nice, clean looking car. Very aggressive with the red trim and the carbon fiber hood. So yeah, I would definitely recommend you pick this one up if you were wanting to get it. But anyways, that's the BMW and the Subaru. Definitely hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like on the video and I will catch you guys next time.